Hi, this is a demo of an automation HQ. So when you go to the main website, you will see this registration form. If you don't see, you click on the registration button here and you will see this form. In this form, you can put your organization name, your first name, your last name, your country and the phone number and the email you wanted to register with and the access code you have to ask uh, from our support team or whoever is consulting you on the automation HQ can provide the access code. You select this checkbox and then you click this button. So you will get the uh, email with the registration detail. You have to go to that email and then uh, you will have a link there and then that's where you can set the password. So based on the registration, I got this email which has a link for setting up the password. So I will click on this link and it will take me to the URL where I can set up the password. So let's say I set a password uh, and you can confirm the password as well. So you will come to this uh, wizard where you have to create a, a project and then you can add more user. So this is a mandatory step because without the project you cannot start anything. So let's say you create a project, you can uh, put the description uh, of the project. For now let's create a testing project. When you go to the next step, you can see there are different roles, project admin, QA director, tester and QA manager. So depending on whom you want to add, you can put the email of that person over here and that person will get the uh, notification in the email that they can onboard into Automation HQ. Now what is project, project admin is basically who can create uh, the project and uh, add more user. So if uh, that kind of a role required, then you can add the email there. QA directors generally only see the dashboards and reports. Tester uh, can develop the test cases. They can uh, group it in a test suite uh, and then run the test board. And QA manager are basically uh, looking at the result, run result and going into the details of that. So those are the uh, four separate roles and you may uh, skip the user at this point you can add it later on as well so in this case let's skip it so now our project is ready and you can now log into automation hq so when you log in you will first see that you know your project is available over here the project we created so you can select that project and now you can and you are ready to create the test cases so there are subsequent video which can explain that what are these modules and how you can create the new test cases, how you can group together in a test suite and how you run it in the test board. Suppose you are a project admin, then you will see this um, project and user button. So now if you want to invite any of the uh, person to your project, then you can first invite the user, you can put their email and then you can send the notification so they will get the link uh, to onboard once they are available over here you can assign to the project so you can go to the project and then you can select the user and uh, from the available user and then assign it to this project so that way you can manage multiple project and then there are users which can be assigned to that if you are an individual uh, who is using the automation hq then at this this point you can just start with this uh, creating the test script